over here. Micro, yeah. It's good to see you again. Hello. As we, as we noticed, Madam Minister, a fast-growing lack of trust in the capability of the European Union to deal with almost everything, it might it not be a good moment for the Committee of Ministers to again promote the many possibilities of the convention-based system, which is so characteristic for the Council of Europe. And when the European Union falters, would it then not be helpful if the Council of Europe offers its convention-making experience to both EU member states and non-EU member states. It has proven to be effective for over 65 years. So would you please reflect on this possibility? Uh, thank you for the question. And when addressing the Parliamentary Assembly last April, President Juncker underlined that EU accession to the Convention is a political priority for the European Commission. This question was also discussed recently during an exchange of views between the Minister's Deputies and High Representative Mogherini on the 11th of May. High Representative Mogherini recalled that accession is a treaty obligation and confirmed that accession as a political priority for the Commission. EU accession is indeed essential to complete the construction of a coherent area of human rights protection in the wider Europe. The Council of European Union and the European Commission are examining the follow-up to be given to the Court of Justice's opinion. It is only after that that work on the draft accession agreement can resume. I hope that these steps will be completed as swiftly as possible and the Committee of Ministers will continue to closely follow the matter. Thank you.